Managing Large Migrations The Cloud Endure User Console provides you with several tools to help you manage mass migrations within the Live Migration Solution. This video will focus on two such features, launch plans and machine labels. Launch plans allow you to launch machines in the order you want with predefined wait times. Machine labels provide you with an unstructured way of grouping machines. You can use the Launch Plans feature to automate mass migration. This feature is disabled by default. Contact Cloud Endure support if you wish to enable it. Launch Plans allow you to pre-configure the order in which sets of machines are launched, as well as the wait times between the launches. This allows for almost full automation of the migration process. Each launch plan corresponds to a single migration wave. A large-scale migration will consist of multiple launch plans. To create a new launch plan, navigate to Launch Plans on the left navigation menu and click on New Launch Plan. We will create a launch plan for three groups of machines that will be launched as the first wave of a large-scale migration. Our machines are divided into three types, web server machines, application server machines, and database machines. Before we begin, we name the launch plan. Next, click on the Add Steps button to open the New Launch Plan Step dialog. Each step corresponds to a single set of multiple machines. After we name the step, we can select the number of seconds to wait before executing it. This can range from 0 to 3600 seconds, or 1 hour. Since this is our first step, we set the wait time to 0. We then select the machines that we want to launch during this step. Add machines by clicking the box to the left of the machine name. You can search for specific machines in the search bar. Once you have finished selecting machines, click Add Step. Now we can see this step in our launch plan. We will now add steps for the application server and database machines. For step 2, we will select a 600 second wait time to allow the web server machines to start up. You can add as many machines as necessary to each step and create as many steps as you want. Note that a machine can only appear in one step. You will not be able to add machines that are already selected in an existing step to a new step. You can move steps up or down within the launch plan by clicking on the corresponding button under the order column. You can remove a step by checking the box to the left of one or more steps and clicking Remove Steps. You can edit a step by clicking on the step name, then clicking on Update Step after making changes. Once all your steps have been added, save your launch plan. You can initiate any saved launch plan by checking the box to the left of the plan name and clicking on the Initiate Launch Plan button. You can initiate the plan in test mode or in cutover mode. For a large-scale migration, create a separate launch plan for each wave, then initiate each launch plan independently. We will initiate this launch plan in test mode. You can view the progress of the launch plan by clicking on Job Progress on the left navigation menu. Once the launch plan is complete, all machines will show as tested in the Machine List view. Machine Labels Machine labels provide you with an unstructured way to organize machines into groups within a project. You can use machine labels to group machines into migration waves by label and then manually launch the machines in each group. You can add multiple labels to a single machine to differentiate machine types. Here we have a project with nine machines, which we want to divide into three separate migration waves. We can add labels to each group of three machines by checking the box to the left of each machine name, then clicking on the Machine Actions button and selecting the Modify Machine Labels option. We will add a new label to the machines by clicking the plus icon and then clicking Save. We will now repeat this step for the next two groups of machines. 
Once all of the labels have been added, we can filter the machines by label in the Machine List view by clicking on the Filters button. Since we want to launch the machines in Wave 1 first, we check that label, then click Close. As you can see, now the Machine List view only shows the three machines with the Wave 1 label. You can tell that a filter is being applied to the Machine List view by the orange circle within the Filters button. The text to the right indicates the number of machines being shown out of the total number of available machines. To launch Wave 1, check the box next to the Name column to select all machines and click on the Launch Target Machines button. The machines can be launched in test mode or cutover mode. We will launch the machines in test mode. Once these machines have been successfully launched, we repeat the process for Wave 2 and Wave 3. Post-launch tips. After performing your large-scale migration, you can delete the source machines from your project by checking the box to the left of each machine, opening the Machine Actions menu, and selecting Remove Machines from this console. After removing machines, you will no longer be able to see them in the console. If you would like to review your original source machines, you can view a list of machines that have used a license by navigating to the Setup and Info, then Licenses tab. This tab shows all of the machines that have ever been added to the project. You can learn more in our other videos, which cover various actions within the Cloud Endure User Console.